This is a journey. A journey which along the way will bring to you new color, new dimension, new value. So oftentimes folks that are even doing those things lose some confidence. Yeah. And maybe even their, their, their not their sales uh, calls goes down, but their, um, their conversion goes down. How can they get that confidence back in yeah. 2014? You, you know, confidence is a lot like a sine wave. And you know, it's up and it's down. And, and it's a sine wave on a daily basis. It's a, it could be a sine wave on an hourly basis or on a career basis. You know, sometimes we feel strong, sometimes we feel weak, sometimes we feel like I want to go at it, and sometimes we're like, oh, you know, this has been a tough one. Um, so, you know, confidence basically comes from one of two places. It comes from either having a really solid plan or it comes from being able to reflect on the results that we've gotten in a certain area and realizing that we can apply those results to something new. And there's a, there's a balance right there between those two things. So for anybody who's experiencing a temporary, you know, uh, downward trajectory in terms of their own self-confidence, the first two places that they have to start is A number one, where have I been successful in the past and how do I apply those lessons to what I'm currently trying to sell or the market I'm trying to attract? And the second thing is applying those lessons to a very specific plan that says, here is the market that I'm going after and here's how I'm going to approach it. Both of those things immediately give an uptick to a level of confidence. Great. Now, you, you do a lot of speaking to a lot of different companies, a lot of different organizations. I remember bumping into you at Amelia Island. You were doing a, a, a presentation to uh, the Georgia... The Georgia uh, Harbor Association. Association. There's about a thousand people yeah. in the audience, right? Yeah. yeah, amazing talk, by the way. So if you, you haven't heard Patrick talk, definitely a treat. Um, so uh, you probably hear all these different mistakes people make, mm -hmm. whether they are a sales manager, a salesperson, or even a, an owner of a company. Uh, what are the one or two mistakes that, you know, right off the bat, sales owners or, or owners or salespeople make? You mean the owners of the companies or the individuals themselves? Uh, let's start with the owners of the company. Start with the owners of the companies. Yeah. Okay. The owners of the companies look out into this broad world, and I've seen this both in turnarounds and I've also seen this, um, you know, in, in companies that I have consulted. And that is the CEO looks at it and says, we can sell our product to everyone. Right. <laughs> right? And, and it's, it's the difference between a light bulb and a laser beam, okay. all right? Okay. Light bulb is useful, casts its light around the world, but a laser beam can cut through things because it's so focused. And a light bulb and a laser beam, they're basically the same thing, they're both light. And so where I see a lot of times CEOs having trouble in terms of their sales team is that they are so broad-based in their objectives of, of the numbers that they want to hit and where they want to, to go get them is that their sales team themselves aren't really clear on where they should be focusing their energies. That's, that's problem number one. So having a crystal clear, lasered focused market for the CEO to be able to dictate to their sales team makes life a lot easier for everybody and, and a greater chance of actually hitting the mark. Okay. Um, I think the, the, the second thing is, is making sure that their team is very well trained. Okay, because a lot of times what will happen is we were talking before about the sine wave of confidence yeah. up yeah. and down, up and down, up and down. And the one thing that salespeople have to have is that their company believes in them. Right. And one of the ways for them to get to believe in them is or to at least acknowledge it is to say, here's what we're training on. We're training on, you know, this point, this point, this point, and this point and continuing to go through it because now the individual themselves look and say, well, the company is investing in me. And I have, I have an obligation to that, but more importantly than that now, all of that training contributes to the plan. And because it contributes to the plan, and because it's pointing back on the results of the individual, that's when you start to see results really step up. You know, the best analogy for that is the U.S. Army. You know, when they're not fighting the war, what are they doing? They're planning. Yeah, they're, they're, they're planning, they're training. training. You know, yeah. it's always in a training mission. Yeah. Why would it be any different in sales? That makes sense. So as far as the individual salesperson themselves, what can they do to be on top of their game? Journey which along the way will bring to you new color, new dimension, 